Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to write loops in Jinja templates. So what I'm going to try to do in this lecture is to show all the questions within the home page. So we are going to get rid of this um, test text and we are going to add questions here. So first of all, I'm going to go to the home page for HTML and I am going to delete these because we are not going to, we do not need them anymore. We have talked about them a lot. So now I want all the questions to be within an unordered list within a UL and then I want them to be within an LI and then within an anchor tag. So each question is an anchor tag within a list item within all of which are within a UL. Now why do we need loops? Because we need to loop through our database and in each iteration we are going to show one question to the screen. But by the time the user is looking at the production ready application or deployed application, then the user is going to see all the questions at the same time because the loop is going to run for as long as there were items within our database seamlessly. So the user is not going to be like one question appears and after 10 seconds the second question appears. No, all the questions are going to appear at the same time in each different iteration which is going to be very seamless. So uh, the syntax for a for loop, a loop and a conditional is almost the same but the code is going to be is going to resemble that of the Python. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to uh, provide that in here as well. So whenever you start a loop, you need to end it as well. So I'm going to say end for. Now what is the sent what are we going to write in here? So I'm going to say for for I'm not going to say anything else in here. So what is it that we are actually trying to do? We are trying to show all the questions in the home page questions and only questions so no answers so i'm going to say for a question which is the loop variable in questions which is the jinja variable which we have not set up yet so let's go to our uh, jinja file and let's set that up so we have removed all of that i'm just going to uh from the html and i'm going to remove it from here as well and instead of all of that i'm just going to grab our jinja variable which is questions uh, questions, and I'm going to set it to our database. So it grabs all the questions from our database. And um, I'm just going to provide that on the next line in case we have some other stuff here as well. There we go. So now we know what questions is actually uh, actually is. Now in here, because the text for each question is going to be different, so I'm not going to um, actually hard code these texts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to provide the text in here, then the href is going to refer to the view function from which we can extract the text for our questions. And that is the questions view, right, you are getting it. Perfect. I'm sure this is simple, so uh, I'm just going to say, so I want to grab the question um, question variable and through the dot operator I want to grab the question from each from the database. Keep in mind this question is different than the loop variable question, different than the attribute or the key question from our database. This is a loop variable that's clear right we have talked about question that question as well so this question is a jinja variable this dot question refers to this database and to this dot question key to this key it refers to that so we want to basically grab just the text for the question where is the where is the url what is the URL referring to which function, uh, which view function? Which view function handles that kind of stuff? It is the questions view. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to say URL for. Let's pass that view question, uh, view questions. And then what is going to be the index? Now the index is going to be dependent upon the loop that we have just created. So I'm going to say index is going to be equal to grab the loop that we have just created and start from the index which is 
zero. So this is the syntax that we are going to write. This is a shortened syntax that we're going to write to get the uh, zero index from the loop as an as a uh, attribute of that loop as a property of the loop using the dot operator and then we are going to grab the text of it from this view function because within this view function if we come if we take a look at that we do have a question ginger variable which we have referenced right here so what is this ginger variable referring to it's referring to this questions database and when you say question dot question what you're actually saying is questions database dot question and what is it going to give you it's going to give you every individual question so we are done with this part as well let's and we have also ended the loop so let's save that part let's save this part let's run this and there we go we got all of our questions we iterated through our database in each iteration we showed the questions on the screen so if you just click on it you're going to go to that question to that specific question so if you come here to use, use what do wolves use their scent for marking territory territory and when you go there you can basically go to each sing single question and now you can see how this application is getting um all, all the pieces are are, are um, um uh coming together i kind of lost the word there are coming together and we are ending up with this amazing application so far there is no single line of css styling applied by us of course there are some styles applied by the browser which we have talked about before but uh, I'm going to apply styling after we are done with this application. So all the, uh, the ending lectures or the concluding lectures will be the styling part. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.